Let me start by saying that nothing in the last month could have prepared me for starting my own coffee shop. 29 years ago, my mom was a barista at a coffee shop just down the street where she met my dad when he played there in a band. That coffee shop today is now long gone, but my mom has always dreamed of opening a shop one day too. So now I have her help in achieving my dream. So in a way, it's full circle. With so much to do, it was best to start simple with floor plans and making lists of equipment needed. The health department requires all of this information to be approved before we can even begin construction. It was really easy to feel overwhelmed or anxious about getting it wrong, but every day I'm learning and reminding myself that this is all new to me and will be worth it in a while. After drawing all the plan layouts, creating an SOP, registering for SurfSafe, listing equipment and specs, and so much more, there's nothing left to do but to submit them to the health department, sit back, and wait. So let me give you a little tour. This back here is where we're gonna store stuff. This back door is a building behind us, but it has an entrance through. So storage will go right here. It's kind of a mess. And storage will go right here. So people can deliver, come right through the door and put their stuff right here. This right here is where we're gonna do food prep. And we are going to have our dish sink, our three compartment sink right there. And then uh, we're gonna rip this all out. As you can see, it's already getting ripped out. We're gonna rip all of these counters out. Probably gonna put a fridge here, counter here. Um, we're gonna have paninis, hopefully, and hopefully we're gonna have waffles as well. This is our mop closet. We're gonna have all of our cleaning supplies and our dustpan in there. And that is the whole space. There is a lot to do and a lot to work on, but I'm really excited. I love that there's so much natural sunlight coming in. And with these overhead lights, I think it makes it look pretty bright in here and cozy. So right now we're in the process of bringing some stuff in, just some basic stuff to get our morale boosted and get this project started. Starting off with this pretty plant. Since it was such a beautiful day, I decided to start with something super easy and take off the old tenant stickers from the windows. And look how satisfying this is. Shortly after, I went to the bank to get a business bank account squared away. It was important to have this before I bought all of my expensive equipment so it would be in the business's name. I also went and got a DBA, which is surprisingly easier to get than I thought it would be. <laughs> Yay! DBA! The first job to tackle was what we will have as our kitchen. As you can see, the old tenants had some kind of cupboard or shelving in there, and I just wanted it gone. So I spent that whole day tearing apart the old boards and unscrewing everything to just be thrown away. We saved some of these really nice wooden boards that are the shelf up top, and we are reusing them in our shop later. And right here, I scrape the only exposed skin I have. Sunday light is 
This is our landlord's puppy, Charlie. He came to say hello. It's going to come down. That's what I'm hoping. Oh. <laughs> Bam. As you can see, the old tenants put this slat board everywhere in the shop. So I tackled getting it off the wall. It is extremely heavy. So I had to take very careful precaution in not hurting myself or damaging the floor. In between all the work we were doing, we would often go back and forth between Menards and Lowe's and grab equipment we knew we would need. Now it was time to start our biggest project yet. The drop ceiling in the shop was old, musty, damaged, and overall not nice to look at. We wanted something that would stand out, but also make the coffee shop look really cozy. Call us crazy, but we decided to replace all 160 ceiling panels with stained wooden boards. This totaled around 42 boards to stain and cut and replace on the ceiling. Here's me trying to do a cool shot and spilling it everywhere. Here I go spilling it again. If it's not obvious, I've never stained anything in my life, but I don't think a ceiling is something somebody notices the second they walk into somewhere, so I'm not really stressed about how it looks when I'm applying it. All of these ceiling tiles had to go somewhere, so when we already had a few of them cut out and ready to go, I took some of them down so we could start putting them into the basement. I can't express how much I hate drop ceiling tiles, so I was really happy to see these go.
This might seem like a lot of extra hard work that's really unnecessary when we could just buy brand new ceiling tiles, but in the end, it was so worth it. Except when mom is cutting wood and this little shard goes right past my head, I almost died. Here's the ceiling halfway done. After that, we got some food and sat outside for a little break. Just to mix it up, we started demolition on the island in the middle of the floor. We don't know what the purpose of this island was for, but after measuring out the space for the bar, we determined it would only be taking away space from the baristas, so it had to go. The process of unscrewing every little screw in this island was taking a little too long and my landlord decided to help and step in the easy way. After taking out the island, it was time to get back to working on the ceiling. This is me just taking some of the tiles down to the basement. It's kind of a giant load, don't you think? Seriously. I would say it took us about a full week to buy, stain, and cut all the tiles to replace the ceiling. It was a lot of hard work, but I feel like it was totally worth it in the end. It was time to clean up the space to make room for more projects ahead. It took a while to hit the ground running, but every day I feel more confident than ever. I've gotten to meet my amazing neighbors, strangers, and businesses that are all so welcoming and excited for a coffee shop. Thank you to the friends and family that have stopped in to help out and for the messages of encouragement. I appreciate it so much. Every day I am so much more thankful to be a part of my community and I cannot wait to open. I've only shown a fraction of what we've done the past month so consider subscribing to see more of the shop's transformation, because this is just the beginning. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see progress pictures and follow along, we just created an official Instagram for the coffee shop. And go get yourself a cup of coffee. You deserve it.